here i have walk animation here i have run animation and here i have t pose i will combine this walk animation and run animation then i will copy that animation data to this t pose so let's start here i am going to open non linear animation and create one more viewport and open dope shit in it then here editing context you need to change to action editor here you need to give name so select this walk animation and give the name walk then select this run and give name run then select this t pose and give name t pose now we are given proper name to these actions then select your t pose and go to the browse action and select walk now the walk animation is there on this t pose then you need to hit this push down button to convert this animation in an illustrative form now you can see here we got one strip and you can notice this here is the orange bar faint orange color it means this strip is holding the action in the forward and backward direction you can see it's hold that pose end keyframe so we need to click n to get this properties and go to the strip and here you need to change this interpolation to hold forward or nothing if i switch it to the hold forward it's going to hold only that forward action if i go to the back you can see i'm getting t pose once again now i will go to this 30 frame and here i'm going to add one more animation that run animation select this t pose armature and in the browse action you need to choose run you can see and you are getting the keyframes at here and if i push down like this i will get that strip from the beginning there is another way for it you need to press shift a and then you can open that browse action here and here you can choose run action and you will get run action at this position now the same thing this strip is also holding the animation in the forward and backward direction now i will choose it to nothing or hold forward so let's take it hold forward and now you can see i am able to combine this animation but it's not look really well and in this case we get this blending option so if you select this run animation then you can blend in or out so just increase the little keyframes are there and now you can see i am able to blend this animation it's very important to get the smooth transition in this so you need to find the matching keyframe at there so now you can see here the left click it's my animation start with this you can see the position and here also you need to find the similar kind of position and here you can see in this way we can combine just need to match it little bit here i can increase the repetition on this walk cycle so if you go to strip then action clip and here you get the option repeat so you can increase the repetition at here and this also you can increase to 2 and then this 2 and that's look good so you can see now i have blend this run animation in in and out and here i didn't blend this walk animation i have repeated both the animations two times here you can see and i have created this animation cycle by combining these two animations so walk and run in this way you can combine this mix some animations or any kind of animations so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel bye bye so next video take care